Hello everybody, this is Baz Kerr. Welcome back to another episode of Vanished in Season 3. And um, I gotta apologize right here. I started recording, so um, we had snow on the ground when we first started, but it's already gone. Um, I was getting my bearings and trying to get see what was going on and uh, realized that um, my uh, audio was not recording. So uh, we're back again. It was only about four minutes worth of footage lost. I haven't actually done anything. I was just getting bearings. Um, so just as a really quick recap here, we got our apiaries up and going the last time. We are getting beeswax. That's good. And we do have um, our Chandler up and going and he has been making candles. And our candles are being sent down here to this trader. And we've got 21 of them right now. We got a fisherman up and going. And that's good. And it looks like we're running out of tools. So that's something we really need to work on. And we can get this guy building some tools. So we'll get him building stone tools for now. And um, so what do I want to do with stone tools or do I want to do iron tools? Let's see, where's my... Here it is. Which iron ore do we have? We have 270 iron ore to the 60 stone, so let's actually let's change this over to rough. I think they're a little better anyways. Um, somebody died during childbirth, okay. Uh, oh, we got nomads. We got three nomads. I'm going to go ahead and accept them. Um, and one of the things I need to do here as well is our home situation. Um, we have 14 homes to 25 families. We need more homes. So let's get onto that right away. And let's see. I want to build something like that. Maybe I want to start... I mean, that's a downside to building like this whole city thing in the middle here. Um, we go and we do that, you know, your homes are really far away from the working areas. So that's something I'm going to keep in mind. It's okay to do that to an extent because you get your laborers, they go and do whatever they want, but... Um, let's see... Salt box houses, farmhouses, I think I've already built... I don't know if I've built any of these or not. Let's see, have I? It doesn't look like it. This might be good little starting homes, maybe. Um, maybe we'll do some more of these small homes. Colonial small houses. That's like we got built here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with some more of these. And I think I'm going to. Okay, it's the exact same one. I'll the exact same one. Let's do that one. One there, one there, one there. We'll get those in. And let's see what else we smell. Town hall, what's this look like? And let's see, it's an okay looking little house. I'm not sure if I want to use it or anything. Get that going. Got a homeless guy. Getting these guys up and going. That's good. Is this a house? I mean, I know people do generally live, uh, live in or near lighthouses. Um, near them, I think, more times than not. I don't know that anybody actually lives in them. Um, kind of looks like this guy might, though. Yeah, that would almost look pretty good right there. Um, it's a little weird, though, to have on a river. Um, but I don't think there's anywhere in here you would actually have these. And oh, man, we don't even want nomads again. Uh, no, we don't. Nomads have arrived at the town hall. Oh! Interesting. So we had a nomads come in here and here. So that leads me to believe that these um, work independently of each other. Um, so that's interesting to know. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we can always deny them, so... Um, there's that. Uh, hmm. I'd really like to take in the nomads. I don't know if we can do this or not yet, though. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. It just means that we're going to be focusing on houses and nomads, I think, this episode. So, let's see. I kind of want to build one of these, um, where to go? One of these farmhouses. I'm going to build it up here. Oh no, I like I kinda like 
found one. Oh man, kind of merges into the barn. So we'll offset it just. Uh, actually, we'd have to offset it anyways. There's a road going there. So uh, yeah, let's go with that. And offset this one more. Because there's only a couple. We'll put in one more right there. Let's go back in, and I've been using the wood chip road. Um, this one, I believe. We also got children becoming laborers at this point too, so and let's see. Um we do have these homes up and going, that's good. I still have homeless people. Um yes. let's see. Oh, we, we we need probably another ten homes at least. Um small town forest home, wooden house, a rustic abode. Oh, that's what we have right here. Yeah, those are okay for like poor looking areas, I think. Um, New England colonial sites. Oh, these are kind of cool. Now these, I think, I would use in the uh, like maybe in the main areas, like the town. Yeah, those are some really cool. So those will get built like probably over here. I gotta try to make a middle note of those. If you guys later see me start building up in this area and I'm not using the New England colonial set, let me know in the comments. I am not against going back and demolishing to get that right. And some small row houses. Uh, what's my speed here? That seems, oh, I'm going to five times. I'm going to slow that down. Let's see, some tiny row houses. Um, oh, those are, it's not kidding when it says tiny. Those are really tiny. That might actually look really, really good though somewhere. General vicinity. Um, kind of think maybe off of it this way. Let's see, let's do it like a. Oh gosh, I really wish I knew kind of what I was going to do there. Let's see, it's there. Um, let's see, like right there. Actually, that's not good. Let me get rid of that. Because. At least I think I noticed. There's some small. These are small ones. Those are bigger than. Like, kind of like these tiny ones. Um, this is an end piece. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's an end piece. So let's see. Let's see. So that's a house spot. So this looks like it's what? Four wide? It's four wide, but that's including that road spot, so put it there. Yeah, that'll still give us room to put another one up there if we wanted. Okay. And I'm gonna go here. And I'm just gonna let these be whatever they end up being. I'm not gonna worry about trying to get particular shapes going here. Now if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna end up having to get all kinds of Stone. Probably some wood too from the looks of it. I'm gonna go one more. And then I'm gonna go here. And I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll collect that wood. Uh, almost 100% sir. Oh, you know what I just realized? I think I went over one too far. I bet. I'm not going to change it. Um, I bet. Yep, there's a room for an extra road. Do you know what? I'm alright with that. I'm going to just go ahead and drag that in. We'll just, this section here is going to be a double wide.
for now. We may take that road out if we want to do like a backyard kind of thing, but I'm not exactly sure I want to do that with the row houses. Uh, I kind of think they'd just be what they are. Oh, got a trader. Let's see what he's got. Um, he's got food. Food's not bad. Um, we certainly need food, so uh, let's see. How much food can we get? I'm going to get at least 264. I'm going to get... Let's get 100 leeks and um, 164. 64 of that. It's not much. And the question is, do I want to use the firewood or not to buy some additional food? And I think the answer is yes. I'm going to get 800 food. Let's see if we can. Let's see, it's 400. Take the 336. And we'll take. I think. Well, I think that's horse meat, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. That'll, that'll get us a little bit more food. Um, help out with this. So, truth be told, I should have left him there and uh, kind of blood him dry. That would have been probably the smart thing to do, but too late now. Um, we need more resources, and we don't have to attempt to just say remove everything in an area. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do everything that's here, I think. I think we've got enough labors to support doing this. Let's do that. I don't want to leave these here for right now, it just looks kind of good. I might eventually want to grab these stones. Boy, this is already about half the way through the episode. I'm going to try to limit these to about 20 minutes. It'll make editing them a lot easier and uploading them a lot faster. Um, especially by the time I cut them. So I'm going to try that route this time around. If it's too short, let me know. Um, if they're too long, you know, I can always maybe try 15 minutes or something like that too. That works out better for people. I never know where that happy medium is when I'm looking at these things. So let's go ahead and let's speed this back up because I'd like to get some of these houses up and going before we end the episode. And definitely we're going to need food. Did we get food out of these guys? We did get food. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Good amount of food out of that one. Good amount of food out of that one. So we got beans, corn, beans. Okay, so what I'd like to do right now, um, let's see, what, so where are we at in the season here? Um, uh, I'm going to leave it. I was going to tear these down, but I think let's try an experiment. I'm going to do, let's see, how big were these? These are 8 by 8 so what I'm do it by there. Okay. And actually, no. We're going to take that out. We're going to use this one right here. And, yep, we'll pop that in as an 8 by 8. And I think I can already tell this one's going to be this one. Um, and then I'll do an 8 by 8 here. Yeah, see, it's already snow covered. So I believe the little icon of the corn thing here is going to be the one that shows through. Um, I'll set that one up as corn. We'll get another one up and going. And after the next planting season, if I remember correctly, I'll go ahead and switch them all out so they're all the same. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be what that is. is. This one, no snow covers it, and snow's covering this one. It's just a different texture, I think, is what it ultimately boils down to. You can see this one has darker lines in it. And I would imagine that that's mostly what this is. It's just a textural thing. Um, let's see. Let's get this guy up and going here. More wood. Um, we need more firewood than we're producing. This. He's not got any wood. Let's see. That's the uh, worst play. I wish I could like do a draw and select kind of thing. I just drag and there it is. Is that the? Yeah, he's a wood guy. More 
Vipers coming up already. Let's see if these going in yet. Not going in yet. Oh, we need iron. We need actual iron. Crud. <laughs> um, okay, so um, let's see how we're going to handle that. Um, some actual iron. We're going to have. I wasn't really planning on getting this up and going that quickly. In fact, this is going to be problematic. I may have to cancel those buildings. Because to get actual iron, I'm going to have to start producing furnace fuel. Agave measures. Um, fuel refinery, small fuel refinery. Try this. Um, I think for fuel, we're going to have to have like... I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Um, but I think for a fuel refinery, we're going to end up having to have a um, reed farmer or something, too. Which is okay. I mean, that's not like a bad thing. It is, though, going to take some more work than At least we actually have enough homes at this point to, you know, work what we have. Um, let's see, this is the fisherman. What's his radius? It's there. So let's, let's do this. Let's put us in a farmer over here. A meat farmer. our boats are going to go right through this, but you know what? I don't know if I really care too much. Okay, looks like they can walk on and off there without too much of a problem, so it's good. Oh, and I could build another one out this way. So we'll go ahead and build one more. So we'll need lots of reeds when it's all said and done. And this guy needs way more stone. So let's just go ahead some of the stone here and grab oh I don't know we'll grab trees I guess we'll go ahead and grab these trees oh dear eight nomads Ooh. I'm gonna have to deny those nomads but this is good to know because I think that does um, mean that we're gonna get more nomads by putting in more of these things so that's interesting Just super fast here. Our meat farmer's up and going. Yeah, and see, he's gonna come out here and he's gonna come right down through here, so it's gonna kind of suck, but it is what it is. Um, I could grab some steel tools. I don't think that's a good use of my money right now. Roads. I don't even know why you would have that. Yeah, let's let that guy go. Yep, see, there he goes, he's going to go right there. So, in the end, this ultimately probably won't stay. I, I do like the aesthetics and, of the game, and uh, that is terrible aesthetics. So, we'll probably end up building our reed farms up here. Hopefully, though, I can actually get bamboo, and bamboo will be a far better way of handling this. Uh, produce more. Uh, I think you've tested that out enough to know that that's the way that'll work out. Let's see. So we are not going to get these homes up in quick this episode. That's unfortunate. Um, and we are really shy on homes. So uh, next episode, we are definitely going to get these up and going. But, um, so yeah. Um, and then not as much accomplished during this episode as I would have liked. And that is my timer going off. Not as much going on in this episode as I would have liked. We've got some resources cleared out. That's good. Um, we've discovered we're going to put some homes in, but we're going to have to collect quite a bit of iron to do it. Um, not just that, we're going to have to collect some more stone. 
Um, we're going to get a fuel refinery in. We're going to get our reed farmers up and going. Um, we're already producing some reeds. And let's see, we do have a barn here, and he's currently holding the reeds. We may have to get another barn up and going too, just to handle the reed output. Um, and I want to do something next episode, maybe. Maybe put the docks down here. And I can maybe move these guys out or something. I may just leave them be for now, too. That's always a possibility. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I want to keep them short, so if you like what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you back next time.